<laughs> Another projector. What was I thinking? I wasn't gonna do this one until I saw it. This little guy is adorable, isn't it? The octopus. Seems to be marketed to kids. Do not look directly into the lens. Thanks. But also, it's for you. I swear, the same remote that every projector I've ever owned has. Wowie! Isn't that cute? There's a focus. It's very clean, it's very streamlined. I can see this working in a kid's room. There's not a lot of places to stick fingers into, or it's just got a single mounting screw. All the ports are covered through this little hatch here, but you have to pop this off if you want to plug anything into it. And it's not the easiest thing to pop off. And once you plug anything into it, like the power cord, this thing becomes useless. Very simple installation. You don't have to use this tripod, but why wouldn't you? And give it a play here. Wally! It's like a cute Star Wars droid or something from Pixar. The kind of thing a child would name. Now, I couldn't get movies to play through the USB port, but I got them to play off the micro SD card just fine. HDMI, of course, works. I tried it with my computer, I tried it with a uh, Blu ray player and a Roku, and they worked just fine. When you turn it on, it's pretty quiet. You have the standard onboard menu where you can play from media. Like I said, I wasn't able to get movies to play off the USB thumb drive, but they do work from the micro SD card. I mean, it's cute, it's child-friendly, it's non-threatening. For a kid's room, this would be perfect. Slap some googly eyes on it. Of course, I had to do something better. Now he's Lil Pan from Big Trouble in Little China. Here's where it gets sticky. Right away, I started to see problems. It's not as bright as other projectors, and individual pixels are very visible. Text is almost illegible at 7 feet. This is on a projector screen. The picture improves when it's closer to the screen, and I got the sharpest picture at around 3 feet from the wall. But at that range, the screen isn't much larger than a standard TV. Flesh tones are okay, but the colors themselves are muted, flat. It's, it's not coming through on camera as clearly, and you can still see a drop in saturation. Sex robot, yes! Diagonal lines are especially pixelated. Blu-ray over HDMI is a bit better. Resolution seems higher. Here's Ant-Man. Motion looks good, but the colors again are muted. Thor Ragnarok, a very colorful movie, looks bland. I really wanted to love this projector. Low pan! It's compact, simple, easy to set up and use. It's child-friendly, and you don't have to worry about kids knocking it around. The picture is a letdown. And the cover is useless if you want to plug anything in, including power. Still, it can have uses. If you want to play background imagery like Halloween loops or seasonal decorations, it's fine for that. The Octopus is 1B. There was potential, and I love the physical design. It does seem very child-friendly. All these round edges, nothing to really catch or... Well, actually, you can catch a little finger in there. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, comment the bell, you know, usual YouTube stuff. This is the newbie, and I'll see you later, kids. Toodles! You're a disappointment.